Hello, my name is Victor Borges from Dean Video Software, and this video is about the new interface in Maros 9.2. Um, so this is Maros 9.2. Uh, if you're using uh, Maros 8.5 or Maros 9.1, uh, you probably noticed that we're moving away from the toolbars and from the menus, and now we have the new ribbon tabs. Uh, the the main reason why we decided to move to the ribbon tabs is because you know features would be more exposed and uh, you know much easier to access right so 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 that's that's the reason right especially when it comes to non hierarchical uh, data so in Maros 9.1 and Maros 8.5 you would have to go to menus and then select a a specific feature and then access and then define it uh, whereas in the ribbon tabs you know things get a bit more exposed and easier to access right so what I'm gonna do today I have a model loaded here and this is the only you know way of uh, getting all the tabs and buttons available in the ribbon tab um, so you also have the option of uh, running batch runs like you used to have in Maros when no model is loaded right so but we are going to focus today on uh when the model is available and loaded right and hopefully by the end of this video you'll be a bit more productive in a way you are modeling in maros uh, 9.2 right uh, so let's walk through all the main tabs we have in maros okay so we have uh the home tab we have the settings tab we have the view tab and we have the help tab right so the home tab is probably where you're going to spend uh, most of your time the reason is uh, because most of the main commands are here, you know, like add items, you know, uh, some of the appearance, the connection tools, the grids are here as well, right? So, so this is like the, the, the tab you're probably spending most of your time. Uh, as you can see, most of the icons changed as well. So obviously, uh, since we're moving away from, from the toolbars where you have like small icons, uh, now you have big, big, nice icons, right? Um, but you know in order to make it easy for you to to identify what an icon does uh we and again that's a feature coming with the ribbons is that you know we, you have the text below each one of the icons and that's that's pretty helpful right so if you wanna if you wanna you know so this is obviously the simulation parameters this is the play animation button um, and another thing that i really really like about the the, the ribbon tab is uh it's the fact that when you pass your mouse over a button maris is gonna you know remind you what that button does so let's say you're not using maris you know very frequently you know for a specific period of time so all you need to do if you want to remind yourself what a certain feature does is pass your mouse over it so so that's that's pretty cool uh, the ribbon tab brings a lot of new technology into into Maros, right uh, so for example now you can take a snapshot of your uh, you know uh, block flow diagram right so when I click on that button Maros is just taking a snapshot of the block flow diagram and I can paste that in uh, paint or you know words so so that's pretty helpful um another thing you can do you know it's, you can actually zoom in now so you can zoom into the the block flow uh, diagram level and that kind of allows you to look into a specific area of the block flow diagram and if i want to go back i just press that button and you go back to you know 100 percent. and of course i can still zoom out like in the old version of maris 9.1 uh, as I said before, you know, one of the main reasons why we decided to move to the ribbon tabs is because we want to make, you know, features a bit more exposed. So, so one, the best example of that is the appearance area, right? Uh, because we, you know, in Maris 8.5 and in Maris uh, 9, 9 and 9.1, you could always define a background image, for example. But, you know, this was pretty much like hidden away in the options menu. And now it's exposed that, you know, like you can select it you know a background image if you want to you can clear up if you you already have one and you can scale up here to directly in the in the menu right so so that's again quite helpful uh, similarly to, to Maros 9.1 and Maros 8.5 you know the ribbon will change you know depending where you click on the, your hierarchical tree right so for example at, at this at, uh, at this level at the project name level what we have we have the block flow diagram 
right so we can see the block flow diagrams and at this level the only element i can add to my to my model is the the node the node element so so if i click here for example i can see node creation wizard right and that's gonna help walk me through you know creating a new node right um, but if I then if I double click on this, the first stage of separation what I see I see the ribbon change especially the add item area and now I can add a system I can add a parallel block I can add a equipment item uh, I can add plan maintenance a conditional element and a black box element right so you know it's very similar to what Maras 9 did but I think it exposed a bit more you know what you can actually add so for, for instance if I double click on the system level I go below the system level and if I double click on my equipment item I can see the failure remote level right so this is the failure remote level and all I can add here uh, failure remotes so, so it's very very kind of straightforward what you does. so if I move up to the again to the block flow diagram level I'm not sure if you notice but we have the equipment catalog on the right hand side and what happens that if I now we have an auto hide function right so I can either have my equipment catalog fixed you know and I can also now I can also uh, change the size of the catalog uh, I can expand I can make it smaller um, and I can also have an auto hide function where it's gonna hide away if I'm not using it and when I use it and when I need to use it all I need to do is a specimen mouse over catalog and it shows up so that's pretty cool right uh, another thing we have here uh, and it's um, uh, the, 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 the new view button so in Myers 9.1 you would uh, have to kind of go to flow and then table and that was, that was pretty much a, like an unnecessary step so we decided to just kind of a uh, simply allow you to go to the flow grid and for instance uh, in when it comes to shadow activities what you can do you can now you can look at your Gantt chart by clicking on the graph button right so so that's pretty helpful uh, all right so moving away from from the set from the home tab and let's go to the settings tab so this is where you know all the non hierarchical data is in Mars 9.2 very very easy to access and again uh, if you hover your mouse, if you hover your mouse over any button, if you pass the mouse over any button, you get you know what the feature does, and you know like what's normally the output and all that, and it's pretty helpful. Um, um, another thing that I found really really cool is that you can build up your own um, uh, quick access toolbar, right? So you, you, I'm not sure if you noticed, but at the top here I have my quick access bar. I can move this to show below the ribbons right and I can also if I want to uh, let's say let me go back to home and go back to the asset view right so I can actually uh, in addition to hiding away the catalog I can actually hide away my ribbon tabs and I can only work with uh, my quick access bar if I want to and I, and the quick access bar you know it allow customization right so if I for example go to settings and now you know you can see that it's uh, over the, the the two bars you know but if I click away it's just hidden away again so that's pretty pretty helpful right the, it is it also allow customization right I, I prefer to see this above the ribbons right so what I can do if I want to add any button to my quick access bar all I have to do is just right click on that add to the quick access bar same thing applies to 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 pretty much anything here so again i can hide it away and i can just play about with my quick access bar and that's pretty pretty helpful right um so there you go so this is where your non-hierarchical data is uh we have also the the view menu right so the view menu allows you to put uh, models side by side if for example you want to tile the windows side by side you can tile horizontally if you want to and, and that's again uh, quite helpful um, um, and also Maris 9.2 comes with a bunch of new documentation right so for example if you want to get in touch with uh, our support group just click on this and you get the, 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 the typical form we have and you fill up with problem overview Maris is going to automatically uh, you know attach any models you are playing with 
right? Mm -hmm. uh, you have a bunch of new FAQs uh, and you have a, a, some tutorials available now. So if I click on tutorials, Marius is gonna prompt a tutorial window, right? And I also have access to FAQs and the release notes, right? So the release notes are also available, you know, and I can see that, I can see what, what's new in Myra's 9.2. All right, so this is what this was a short introduction to the new ver to the new interface of Maras, right? So, if you do have any questions, please get in touch at uh, software.support at dnvgl.com. Thank you very much.